Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thanks so much. Thank you for remembering 20 years. I was thinking when this anniversary was approaching how America changed when the 9-11 attacks happened. I grew up right down the street in Dunedin. I graduated high school in 1997. Yes, yes. And you kind of take it for granted, but looking back, growing up in the 90s, we had won the Cold War, we were prosperous, at peace. It was really a great time to be an American. Our country was really, uh, in many respects, at the apex. Uh, we were the only superpower in the entire United States, and it seemed like the possibilities were endless. Uh, that September morning in 2001, uh, when we were attacked uh, by, by crazed terrorists, it changed our country and it changed the world uh, in the 20 years since. And the first thing that, of course, you think about is the people that we lost that day. The mothers, the fathers, sisters, brothers. You had um, friends and neighbors. It was left a huge hole, not just in the hearts of people in New York City or Shanksville, Pennsylvania or Washington, D.C., but in the entire country and really around the entire world. And so their legacies have, have lived on uh, as a result of uh, America coming together during those times. And I've been able to meet folks who've been impacted by 9-11, and I can tell you uh, this is unlike any event that we've had certainly in my lifetime. So let's always remember their legacies. Let's also remember what people were doing to fight back even in the immediate aftermath of those towers being hit. But we talk now, it's like you talk about people in uniform, not everyone always gives them credit in this day and age, which certainly I do, but just think of who the people were that were running into those buildings. These are the people that were wearing uniforms that said they would protect and serve, uh, whether in the police, the fire, the Port Authority, and you lost hundreds of first responders in those towers, those folks going in there, ushering out many hundreds more to safety, and so they gave their lives to save other people's lives. And any, of course, 9-11 is the most significant type of, of, uh, of event you could face. But any time tragedy strikes, any time people are in jeopardy, it's the folks that you wear the uniform that are running into those fires. So let's thank all those people who serve us. Let's always have their back. But it wasn't just people wearing the uniform that day who fought back. United Flight 93 had taken off, was heading west. They got word on the plane, some of the passengers, about what had happened in New York City. And so they understood that, in all likelihood, the people that hijacked their plane uh, were going to do a similar attack using that aircraft uh, and end up killing potentially thousands of more civilians. So they had a decision to make. Uh, were you just going to hope for the best and hope that didn't happen, or were you going to take matters into your own hands, knowing that you'd be saving thousands of other people, but you would be ensuring your own demise? And so people like Todd Beamer, they stood up and they said, not on our watch. We are not going to let you destroy uh, an American city. We're not going to let you murder thousands of our fellow citizens. We're going in. We're taking you out. And obviously, they brought the plane down in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, giving up their own lives, but of course, saving uh, many, many hundreds, if not thousands of lives. So those folks on that flight who stood up, they stood up for all of us that day. And we think it was going to go to Washington. Nobody really knows where we're going to end up going in. And, and they stood up for a lot of innocent people. So we should remember the heroes of Flight 93, United Flight 93. We should also remember the folks who, who stood up to bring justice to the people uh, who brought the towers down. And I can tell you when uh, that happened, you saw a lot of people sign up to be able to serve. I, I joined after 9-11. I, I served in the Iraq campaign. I know many people. We have many people probably here who, who served in either the Afghanistan or Iraq campaigns. And the thing that I think the 9-11 veterans don't get enough credit for is just how much weight was placed on, on their shoulders. The previous uh, most significant attack previous to 9-11 was, of course, Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor brought us into World War II. We defeated Nazi Germany, Imperial Japan. Uh, it was a righteous effort, and it saved the world. But every single American was enlisted in that in some way. I mean, you had a massive military draft. 
everybody, towns would, would, would empty with people going off to war, and it was an entire mobilization. And, and they are, uh, they deserve credit as the greatest generation. The post 9-11, there was no draft. It was all volunteer. And not only volunteer, most of the people deployed were volunteering to go again. And so you place an enormous burden of years and years and years of combat deployment on a very, very small segment of our society. And you have people who had served three, four, five uh, tours. Many of our special operators served many more tours than that. Uh, that is not a normal thing to be doing, to be put into those situations time and time again. And so the toll, uh, obviously we had killed in action, we had wounded in action, uh, but just the emotional toll that that takes on people. We've worked with veterans coming back who suffer from post-traumatic stress. No wonder when you're over there that many times and having to face this that many times. The stress that it did on families uh, has, been, has been off the charts. Uh, unfortunately, it's caused breakups of families because you have folks that are, that are over there. Uh, so let's just understand and appreciate, yeah, you wore the uniform, yeah, yeah, you, you put yourself out there, but you were called upon to do more than most previous generations with a very, very small number of our fellow citizens. They were, when I was in, in Iraq, you could go to American cities and people wouldn't even know anybody. Uh, who was involved in, in any of these military operations. And so it was a little bit different, and there was a lot of burden placed on a lot of very small segment of people, uh, but they shouldered it. Uh, and regardless of how politicians have screwed up some of this stuff, every time our military men and women were given a mission, they succeeded, and they did honor for our country. So as we're here 20 years, I think we are all united and never again. Uh, we will not allow this to happen. I think there was reasons why, why it did that, that, that should have been corrected, but uh, we can't let it happen again. But we definitely have sent the message that America will respond. Uh, we were united after 9-11. It would sure be nice if we could have some of that unity in our country right now. Thank you. So we thank everybody uh, who has stepped up in the years since September 11th. And it, I, we had a tragic collapse of condos in Surfside, Florida a couple months ago. And I remember being there uh, probably about 10 hours after it collapsed, looking, and it was a massive pile of rubble. And it was really heartbreaking because you hoped you'd find a lot of people, but man, it was so, so catastrophic. And I immediately thought back to September 11th, and I said, you know, as bad as this is, September 11th has got to be a hundred times bigger with those big towers and everything. And so the people that get sifted through that rubble, the people that went into those buildings, we see the similar stuff happening today when there's issues. And the fire folks in Miami did a great job down in Surfside, and I know if there's anything that happens in this community or any community across Florida, it's going to be those folks wearing the uniform that are going to be there for us. So thank you. We honor them. We honor the memories of those who we lost. Uh, we are inspired by the stories of so many survivors who have, many of them have moved to Florida in the, in the intervening years, as a lot of people have. Uh, and so we are inspired by, the, by their stories and we are uh, sad, uh, even now, 20 years later, uh, but we're also appreciative about the response and so many people who stood up to say, not on my watch, this is not gonna happen. So God bless you all. Thank you for coming out to remember September 11, 2001. God bless.